Okay, so we're going to start off with some kinesiology and hold. Ah, oh, entirely different. Ah. You might see some colours. Yes, lovely. <laughs> good, we've got some good hip rocking movement here. Spreading that warmth and circulation down the spine. Each side of the spine and then on the spine at the very top. That's good. And then separating, circling the neck, separating the shoulder. It's and okay me elephant. doing this. It's lovely, thank you. And a little feel down the length of the cervical vertebrae. Okay, let go, let go, let go. Another neck release. Fantastic, nice and strong. Bringing the stress out of the head. Yeah, you just mentioned you fell off a mountain, basically, didn't you? You fell over on a mountain yeah, in Norway. Yeah, and uh, badly broke my wrist, but that's, mm. that's healing and, and, yeah, much better than it was, yeah. And I've had an issue with the ball of my foot, so hopefully this will help, you know. OK. Help the healing process. Yeah, yeah definitely. I'll do some core Great. therapy. We'll do some arm and wrist repatterning. Lovely. Um, I think it needs some love as well, it so does. I'm going to give it some <laughs> Qigong. Great, thank you. Um, your right foot has yep. plantar fasciitis. But that's much better as well. Much I've better. Corner, turned a corner with that, but that probably could do with a bit of loving as well. OK, yeah. 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 Great. So what I tend to do with plantar are oh, cupping. These soft cups are fantastic oh, for plantar. Um, probably the smaller one because of the surface area yep. under the foot. And I'll just move it a little bit. Great. Um, but I'll be talking to you while I'm doing it yep. and see how it feels while I'm doing it. But these are just fantastic for plantar fasciitis. Great. Oh, that sounds great. Thank um, you. And you mentioned a little a pain in your ear. they ever so slightly been grumbling for about three or four weeks, I should mm -hmm. think, but nothing major, but... Okay, I'll have a look with the otoscope. Probably a little bit of inflammation in there somewhere, but not major. Okay, and yeah. you're fighting it off. But other than that, I'm absolutely... Yeah. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> horrific. You're absolutely <laughs> top, top notch. Banana. <laughs> top banana. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to move these and you can lie down. Oh, thank you. Lovely. <laughs> oh. Now, would you like some heat on? Do you want the heated couch on? Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Thank you. OK, so we're going to start off with some kinesiology. Can you raise your arm for me and hold it here? Stop me pushing and hold. Lovely, it's a good hold. And this one, and hold. Good. Just a little weakness. And then raise your leg. Still in shorts. <laughs> I'm going to push <laughs> <Yeah>. and hold. <laughs> Are you yeah. going to do shorts all winter? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. It depends what the winter's like. Yeah. I'm going to push here and hold. Good. <laughs> and two together, arm and leg. And hold. OK, <laughs> not great. And same this side and hold. OK, something going on. Let's see what it is. Can I have this arm and leg again? And hold. No, it's not dehydration. With this finger, can you upturn it, put, uh, touch the roof of your mouth? Mm -hmm. And then arm and leg again and hold. Ah, entirely different. Ah. So when you support that part in your head, your hips go strong. So ah. I know that it's your SBS, which is where you were just touching. We've had that before, haven't we? Mm. I mean, you haven't been for a while, and mm. sometimes some of those foundational things that are supporting our body can fire up and mm. go wrong. Um, and it just shows that really we could do with like at least a six weekly treatment with yeah. core therapy mm. just to make sure that it's looking after us and mm. that maintenance. So I'm just going to touch the roof of your mouth where you were just touching. Yep. Um, I'm going to be there for maybe a minute or two and it will feel a long time because it's a very odd sensation someone with their finger in your mouth but it's also bizarrely quite relaxing and spiritual. Mm -hmm. If you were to close your eyes, you might see some colours. Yes, lovely. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, relax your jaw and just breathe. Okay, we're going to do this test again. Arm and leg and hold. Still going down, but it's a different kind of weakness. And hold. Okay, can I just have a look at your tummy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, it's all right. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It makes you flinch, doesn't <laughs> it? Okay, relax your tummy as much as possible. That's it, lovely. Lovely, okay. Can you put these two fingers over there? Just in where mine are? Yep. You have fingers, your hands are cold. I know, <laughs> sorry. Right. Arm and leg and hold. Ah, right, I think. How's digestion? I haven't been asking you about that. You okay? Yeah, all right. Yeah, funny. I, if, yeah, feeling slightly sicky. Not so I'm gonna be sick, just that, Little slightly nauseous feelings, just occasionally, randomly. Oh, okay. But not every day. But no. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so we're we're going to retest a lot of the other organs now. Mm. If you could just raise your your clothing up a little bit, so I've got more access yes. to the full tummy. Yep. And then I'm going to use your nice warm hand <laughs> <laughs> across here. Yep. Yeah. Um, actually, just release that for a moment. With this hand, can you give me a little finger and thumb? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I can. You sure? Yep. Yeah. I've been, work that, I've been working be on strong? that. I don't know. And hold. Oh, it is. It's quite good. Wow. That I couldn't do that two weeks ago. Couldn't even reach my third finger. Wow. Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah, I know. Okay. Are you sure you're all right yeah, yeah. using it? I'll shout if I'm not. And hold. Okay. And then ends of fingers, with this one, ends of fingers yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, so not pointy, but ends oh, yeah. like that. Sorry, yeah. Not using the whole hand. Yeah. Those. And then little finger and thumb. Just rest your elbow down and hold. Yeah, really good. Now pointy fingers. We're just coming up onto the anxiety point. And hold, yeah, really good. Ends of fingers again now. Here for the stomach. There, yeah. Rather than pointy, just Sorry, flat, yeah. You did yeah. Say. And <laughs> hold. Slightly, I am mm. being picky. Now the edge of your finger into the underside of your rib yep. up there. Yep. And hold, good, okay. You're passing. Oh, thank and you. Then, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, thank your body. Thank you, body. <laughs> and hold slightly. Not enough to do anything about. And then two fingers there. Two. Yeah, just two fingers deep in. Yep. Yeah. And hold slightly. Okay, you can relax this hand. I will be coming back to that one. Okay. So a kidney check and hold. Yeah, Ooh. kidneys are opening. And again, adrenals and hold. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so kidneys and adrenals, interesting. Yeah. So kidneys are all about water filtration, um, clearing out and getting rid of waste materials. Um, adrenals are all about 
your energy, your cortisol, your cortisol, keeping <clears throat> your energy and your mm. spirit going mm. out of uh, vitalism. Yeah, vitality. vitality. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and maybe that's been a little bit tested cool, recently. Yeah, massively. Um, of course, this isn't just physical energy we're talking about. We're talking about emotional, mm. psychological energy, mm. and you do have to have a lot of resolve. Um, a lot of resourcefulness to be able to deal with mm. life, don't we? Especially mm. when it th throws things like you've been through recently. And I've been on a lot of strong painkillers since I did the Have arm. You? Since, so uh, that was the 26th of July. Well, your liver's coming up okay, and it's the liver that has to deal with mm. flushing out the mm. uh, medications and things. So it's coping. That's um, good. Yeah. I mean, I'm. Yeah, pr pretty much not on any now, but yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, the, yeah. But it, they, it, the liver can store them, so it, it's good. It doesn't feel like it has done. That's good. Okay, so just going to carry on. What I'm going to do with the kidneys and adrenals is work on your kidneys and adrenals through your back. Yep. So when I'm giving your tween R, uh, I might do cupping maybe on them or some other action to actually work on your kidneys from the back rather than from Great. the front. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Um, so let's just have a look at hips. Can I have this arm, just straight arm and hold, not happy. And this side and hold, that's better. So it's your left hip and hold, good. And again, and hold, no, I knew that was gonna go down, I could feel it. Okay, so left and coming down. So it's almost like this leg is longer. Yeah, it's quite obviously longer. I can even see it from this angle. Yeah. By long, I don't mean really longer. I mean that the hips dropped. Yeah. And hold. Okay, so it's intact, which is really good. Mm. So I don't need to test your pubis symphysis. So let's have a look at you from here. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it's the angle of your hips. So it's almost like they're pointed this way. Yeah. See, I fell. That's the way I fell, the way you've done your hands. Right. So I should imagine. Onto that, yes. Yeah, you... that, that, that's exactly how that... I fell. Oh, OK. That way. OK, well, that, your hips are still where you fell. Yeah. That makes um, sense. Um, which, when I'm talking or talking about hips, I'm not just talking about the iliacs here. I'm talking about your sacrum mm. as well, because it's all one big pelvic girdle. So when you turn over, I'll have a look at your hips. In fact, you can turn over now. Thank you. There we are. Thank you. And arms down on the couch, which is probably more comfortable for you. If, is that all right for your shoulders like that? Yep, yep, yeah. I'm fine. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to check your sacrum. Can you put your thumb to your little finger? I'm going to try and pull apart and hold. Mm, that's opening, funnily oh, enough. Really? How funny. So the one with the plate is stronger. Oh. Can you believe that? Um, Okay, I'm going to do a different test so viewers can see it from the camera angle. I'm going to try and bring your arm out and you're going to tuck your arm into your body yep. and I'm going to pull it away okay. and hold. Yeah, that's really strong. And hold. And hold. And hold. And hold. Hold. Okay, good. Okay, so despite the iliacs being in the wrong orientation, the sacrum feels okay. Mm -hmm. um, I've just tested north, south, east, west of the sacrum to see if it's uh, tilted in one direction, but it it feels okay with the tests. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the the look of it. I think it might be down on that side. So we'll have a look again at the end. Can you bend this knee and raise the knee off the couch? I'm going to push here and hold. 
lovely and the same again the other side bend first and raise and hold okay that's dipping a little bit mm -hmm. just going to have a little feel of lumbar three which is quite low down yes yeah, about there and c3 which is about here oh, yeah. okay. which one oh, yeah oh. yeah oh. yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> okay so try um sorry this no, one again bend bend it raise it up and hold there we go okay so just me anchoring it here mm. has made that now go strong but it means that i need to be spending some attention during the treatment on your l3 right hand side and your c3 left hand side okay treatment now you can chill helen oh, thank you. <laughs> so just for viewers i might explain while i'm going along just odd bits but you can chill <laughs> so this is a nice tweenar Chinese rocking massage through the clothes and the first thing I do is just have contact with the body at first going down the whole spine and I'm tracing the line around the edge the outside of the spine I'll be coming around the other side as well just to see what the spine's telling me. So I'm looking for whether it's fluid or hard and tight. I'm detecting warmth, whether it's cold or too hot or just warm. I'm seeing what the fascia is doing all around the area. So into the muscles, the glute max, the erector spinae, the latissimus dorsi, deltoids, trapezius mainly, and seeing whether they are what we call bouncing back. So when I'm pushing and prodding, hopefully each muscle just bounces back nicely. Obviously, Helen has a lot of good muscle tone and physique, so there is a lot of strength there, but even despite that, strong muscles should still feel soft, softer when they're relaxed. They should, we should be able to do this kind of push and pull tween our movements. So the tightest at the moment is around here on this side. The spine's moving okay, but I'd like it to move better than that. Yeah, I can feel that that's sore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this area here, which are the upper thoracics up to about T1, which is there, um, has receded a little. It's gone, I, I see this sometimes with people when their back is so tight that the spine almost doesn't want to come and play. It's not moving, um, it's each vertebra individually. And so the spine just sort of recesses back down into um, the fascia. Um, so what Tweenar aims to do like this, and I've actually got my thumb and thenar muscle against the bone, against the spine here is I'm agitating each one individually in order that it moves separately to the vertebra above and below it because we can get subluxations here where vertebras are slightly left or right out of their correct alignment or fixations where a vertebra will be far too attached and moving as one with a vertebra above or below. Sometimes even three or four can, can do this as and move and turn as one. And they shouldn't be doing that. They should move, be moving separately. So this is moving better already. There's good temperature to the back. This area here is quite tight of the fascia, so I'm just picking it up, softening it, encouraging it to let go. Good. 
good. We've got some good hip rocking movement here, which is great. That's what I want. It's almost like I'm working on the body of the snake and I'm trying to make the head sway side to side, which it is, rather than moving like an iron bar, it needs to move like a wave. Yeah, so we're going to get the cups on you, Helen, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, particularly, you want to be working on this area, but because of the hip orientation, I'm going to be working down here as well. So if you could just take your tops off and um, leave your bra on and I'll just open it to the sides. Okay. So just applying some warmed carrier oil. So this is just organic sunflower oil. There's no essential oil, no scent in there. Need a little more. Just warming the cup up, introducing down the sides of the spine with a nice big cup, bringing that warmth down from the top of the back, spreading that warmth and circulation down the spine, feeling how the fascia is accepting that feel of the cup coming all the way down to the sacrum. Beautiful. And again, down the left hand side. And then feeling what the spine is telling me. said earlier the upper, upper thoracics were quite receded so I'm just trying to bring them out a little. I can feel, I can even see that there's quite a well here. The worst part is quite high up at about T2 in between 2 and 3. The 
scapula are nicely raised, but it's just this middle area that could do with some inversion, hence the cupping of that inverted suction, so good for it. Might just leave a couple of cups there for a moment. Always warming the cup up before bringing it in contact with the body. There we are, nice, going nice and rosy. Spreading that warmth around all the way down to the sacrum. It's a very windy, blustery and rainy day here in September in the UK. There's a lot of weather out there. Good, okay, so we've got some colour going here that shows the cups are doing their work. Really good suction action. Does that feel okay for you, Helen? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, not too much? No, not too much. So again, spreading that energy, that chi, around the body, making sure there's blood, circulation and warmth. So what this does to the body, how it feels afterwards, is warmer and looser, more agile and flexible. Just going to leave a couple of cups there while I'm working on other parts. That's it, lovely. to low down on the sacrum to help orientate the correct alignment of the sacrum. And then on the upper thoracics, each side of the spine, and then on the spine at the very top. That's good. And then feeling into the foot, so just where I mentioned the kidney area earlier, I'm working on the kidneys, 
through the feet, the reflex point, and the kidney feels quite hard here. Sometimes the kidneys are associated with the feeling of fear. And if we've been hurt, sometimes the kidneys can uh, close up. It's almost like we're putting up a big solid wooden door, locking it many times and holding ourselves inside. And that's what the kidneys can do because of fear. We uh, keep ourselves away from things that might scare us. So this warmth at the kidneys and on the reflex point can really help soften them and help us be strong and brave and deal with what comes our way. That's good, feels better. Of course, there was plantar fasciitis in the feet, so just feeling for any remnants of that as well. Yeah, yeah, I think that's quite sore there. It's popping a little bit. And then a nice repatterning, working using the leg as a lever. to work on the hips. That's it, just let it go, lovely. And the other side, just checking those cups, going nice and rosy. Just going to leave them for another minute, just while I work on the left side of the neck via the reflex points on the feet and then down the shoulder blade, the thyroid under thyroid and under the shoulder blade, and then on that adrenal gland again of the other side and the kidney. So this is the left adrenal and kidney, just palpating it, getting it to filter fluids correctly, get it to work efficiently, just waking it up, reminding it to do its job. It needs plenty of water, eight glasses a day, plus all of those foods that we eat that contain so much water. And then separating, circling the neck, separating the shoulder. And then again, just checking the foot out for any remnants of plantar. Again, yeah, feeling it more here, really. And then pushing up, anchoring into the hips, bringing the leg out in order to raise the other hip, realign the pelvis. And down. And then just a little hip repatterning, working on the sacrum. So this is where I'm actually looking at the sacrum for its orientation, making sure I'm bringing it back to correct alignment because it was, the front of the hips were quite twisted earlier. Just checking the pelvis again through the cups, giving the pelvis a little massage. Oh, nice 
nice strong massage right into that right sacrum and iliac into all those beautiful ligaments like sellotape holding the pelvic girdle together and then massaging up each side of the left side of the back up through the fascia up to the trapezius onto the scapula and then onto the left kidney so we will retest those kidneys at the end to see if they're strong yeah it's going rosy now so hopefully it's getting a good wash and cleanse through that filtration system And then again, using the cup to massage down the right side of the body, all the way down to the sacrum. You okay, Helen? Mm -hmm. Is it a bit strong? No, no, it's good. I was just readjusting my... Ah, is it sore? Do you want a cushion under it or something? Would you like something oh, underneath actually, it? Actually, that might be nice. Yes, please. How about that? Thank you. Any better? I think so. Yeah? Yeah? Thank you. Yeah. You'll be turning over soon. And then working on the... Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Is that too yeah. much? No, it's good. <laughs> Pain. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, well done. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, just have to move that on. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you need to do with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Suddenly went really sore. Yeah, but because just being in the same place for a while, is that what's doing it, do you think? I think it must be too, yeah. What about when you're sleeping? Does it hurt then? Um, do you wake up sore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it go, just goes... It's sore and stiff during the night. Mm. But much better than it was. Have you got pins and needles? No, no, it was just um sore. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything I can do right now? No, do you, that's it. no, lovely. Do you need to turn over now or no. can I just have another two minutes Absolutely, with you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So just working on the sacrum again, such an important part of core therapy is this sacral float. Using Qigong to detect and correct energy pulsing down the cerebral spinal fluid. Wrapping round S2, sacral 2, and coming back up along the whole spine and around the brain. It's just a wonderful, life-affirming 
technique instilling vital chi into the body helping it to find its correct balance This is when the body can utterly relax, find its e equilibrium, just that beautiful foundation of balance and life. Just separating my hands so that one is also on another vital Chinese meridian to help bring flow up to the kidneys and adrenals. Tanda. So good. Don't want to leave. Okay. So, Helen, if you would like to turn over nice and slow over onto your back. How's your arm? Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right now? Just didn't, didn't. Yeah, good. Suddenly, it was fine, and then it suddenly went. I don't like don't like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to work on it now. Thank you. much yeah <laughs> okay 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 well let's sit down yeah that's fine yeah i'll shout if it's not yeah <laughs> okay yeah thank you All right. Yeah. Well done, you're doing really well. Thank you. Well done.
So, is this all right, what I'm doing now? It's lovely. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Nice, it's having a bit of loving. Yeah, that's right. Mm. So how's the hand? Because it's very close to the hand, isn't it? Very, very stiff and sore, yeah. Yeah? It's a lot better. I've, I've had to really work on it. Right. You have to put mm. a lot of time in. You have to sort of make time to do all your physio exercises, don't you? Yeah, and get it in hot water. And I've got okay. a uh, comfy ointment and a good pet, you know, really try and my best to massage it myself, you know, yeah, yeah. get the range of movement going. But yeah, the hand's been really sore. So it's and okay me doing this? It's lovely, thank you. Interesting. But when I held it earlier, you were like, oh. It was that twist in the, in the wrist, I think. Okay. So I'm basically doing tweenar like I was on the back, but on the wrist here. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank rocking you. it and palpating it, trying to get some um, nerve connections, some circulation, the lymph, of course. Um, but interestingly, there's no lymph nodes lower than this. There's lymph, but no lymph nodes. So the lymph nodes are what ah. takes swelling takes fluid away yes, yeah. and any toxins uh, like after a break or yeah. injury and so all the lymph down here needs to be pushed and then back to here and then stimulated in the crook of the elbow oh, yeah. um, so whenever you have swelling and you've got a little at the moment yeah. it's all about upward flow upward. and then stimulating the elbow yeah, and that's why raising things up, raising our legs, you know, yeah, always helps. helps. Yeah, because it's the same for the feet. Our nearest lymph node is behind it our knee. Is, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get my heat lamp on your wrist. Oh, it it does like warmth. Does yeah. it? Rather, rather than a bag of peas, it's a pound for me. Hmm. a while to warm up but it's already working because um, there's moxa in there as well and moxa is a herb that's got 33 minerals in it so through the heat and through the infrared lamp which you, you can't see the lamp but it's in there the um, the moxa will infuse through the skin into the blood circulation Amazing. Mm. so that's working straight away oh, thank you, let's just do this arm as well amazing the um, muscle wastage in such a short period of time it's it's pretty instant shocking. yeah so when people go into hospital you know what, whatever age we are within a couple of days it, it's already quite obvious mm. yeah of course I haven't been able to train like I normally would so oh. it's been but it's coming back definitely. yeah again so T three two one and then up to the cervicals very tight on the right hand side mm, at about C three 
C2 is a bit worse. Uh, C1 is okay. That's it. Releasing into the neck. Beautiful neck release. Angling the head, tilting it backwards while a row of fingers just under the occiput into the gap of C1. And a stretch. Rotation and a little feel down the length of the cervical vertebrae. Processes, seeing if they go, encouraging, relaxing, 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 let the neck go, beautiful. And then feeling each process separately, going down from one to seven. The top one's particularly tight. Mm. That's C1, two, three. And then it actually loosens up down here. But these top three are quite bad. They could really do with some regular treatment, really. That's needing, needing some TLC. And let's have a look at the other side, which will help the first side. So again, palpating down the vertebrae. Encouraging the spinal processes to turn. Lovely, it's actually moving better this side. Mm. Good. So when I did the glute max test earlier and it was the left L3, was out of alignment, which meant it was the right C3, and that would correlate with what I'm finding here, because it's the right C3, which was tight. And it just, oh, okay, that's it, that's it, let it go, beautiful, swinging them side to side. Lovely, beautiful, okay, let go, let go, let go. Another neck release, fantastic, nice and strong. Release all the muscle action, let it go, let it go, let all the fascia just relax into the absolute best way for your, not your neck to release so that the Neck is tilted back on its very axis. Taking the pressure off the rest of the spine. Allowing beautiful, clear, free movement of the cerebral spinal fluid. Good nerve connections, circulation. This is the optimum to prevent or get rid of headaches, migraines, to get rid of brain fog, to instill clear vision. And also to avoid depression, anxiety, negative feelings. A daily neck release for a couple of minutes at this point helps all of these things. And a stretch.
just pumping the shoulder down. And the other side. this will help the hands and the arms, the shoulders, not just the neck. And then with the stress of what's been going on recently with the breakage, I'm just going to do a little ESR, emotional stress relief. Bringing the stress out of the head. I'm feeling it being dispelled, dissolving. Brain fog clearing the way for a free mental. Keeping your eyes closed, take a nice long breath. And send your breath all around your body. And slowly stretching out through fingers and toes. as much as you want to, circling into wrists and ankles. And then bringing your arms up over your head for a nice long body stretch. Put your wrist back down. You can have a couple more minutes of that while I'm just retesting. Can you feel the warmth? Yeah. Okay. Thank mm. you. That's nice. So I'm just going to retest four things. So can I have?
this leg and your right arm. I'm going to push, you're going to hold up and hold. Oh, so much better. And hold. Yeah, a lot better, yeah. I think it shouldn't be too long before your next one because I can feel there's still some weakness there. Um, mm. Can I just have a little feel of your kidneys? And then give me this hand, little finger and thumb and hold, good, so much better. And the adrenals and hold, brilliant, mm. no effort. Thank you. You feel good after that? That's lovely, thank you. <laughs> yeah.